Hello, I'm going to really quickly show you how to use the new ping system in Fantasy Grounds. First, for GMs, we're going to open up a map. Once you have a map or image opened, there are a few easy ways that you can place down pings. The first is up on the top bar. There's this little target button. It says ping mode when you hover over it. If you click on that and then click anywhere on the map, you will drop down a ping. Pings use your user color, and you can place them around to direct your players to look at whatever you want them to. A quick hotkey version of this is if you hold spacebar and double click anywhere on the map, it will do the same. As a GM, you can also access ping mode from an unlocked map on the little sidebar panel right here. It is the same as clicking the button in the top bar. From a player's perspective, this is going to be very similar to how we did it for GMs. Up on the top bar, there's the same ping mode icon. And you can click anywhere on the map to drop a ping. Like I said, it uses your user color. Once again, you can also spacebar and double click to place pings. And before anybody asks, yes, they do work in the new 2.5D mode. All right, let's show a quick example. I'm going to place down some pings as a GM and then swap over to a player client and show you how it works as an example. Say you want to alert your players to a sound or something from this corner up here. You as the GM know those goblins, but the players over here do not yet. You can grab your ping. Boom, place those down. We'll quickly switch over and your players now see there are some pings there. And then maybe our wizard over here says to the other one, hey, let's go check out that direction. And they place it down. And as with before, it shows up over here as well. That's how you use pings in Fantasy Grounds. If you found this video helpful, remember to leave a like and also subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date on all things Fantasy Grounds. If you want to learn more, you can visit fantasygrounds.com.